Girls Aloud Cheryl Cole is fulfilling her lifelong passion to be a street dancer. She has to cram in years of training into just two weeks in London and street dancing capital Los Angeles before auditioning for a part in Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas new music video. Her first day already proved to be difficult as she struggled with her confidence. Let it go. Just yeah, let but go. I look like a fool. You think you look like a fool. Back at home, she takes time out with her mum, Joan, to reflect on an ambition she's had since childhood. Our first dance lesson, the teacher came out and says she's got some expression. Did she? Yeah. Um, she was winning at the Bonnie Baby competitions first. Then she All right, Ma, we don't have to go right back into that. Like. No. Then she went to, into Little Miss and that's when she got the mother. Right, OK, you no, know, calm down on the uh, little baby things. She sure, like the stage the minute she was born. She was just a little show off, just wanted to be on stage, showing off. Would it, do you know what though, when there's five kids, to be fair to myself, yeah. I had to stand out somehow. And that was probably my way, showing off. But despite being a natural performer, Cheryl has some inhibitions. I was always dancing in my bedroom, you know, I would shut the door and um, I would play my songs, pretend I was in a video. You know, like, look at myself in the mirror and pretend I was in a video and dance and make up dances and things like that. And I would always, somehow, someone would walk in. I would always be caught, basically, in the middle of a dance move. Like, and then somebody would walk in the door. And I was so embarrassed and, like, laughing. Because there were my older brothers and sisters used to take the mic and go, Ah, you were dancing, I seen you. I was spying on you, you were pretending to be in a video, blah, blah, blah. And I think I'm a bit embarrassed still. I've still got those insecurities that someone's going to go, ah, I seen you trying to dance or whatever. It's only Cheryl's second day of lessons in London. And with just a few days before training in Los Angeles begins, she's already feeling the strain. I'm so tired. Oh, I hope Kenrick doesn't make his push turn the day. Today, Kenrick is going to up the pressure by making Cheryl train with two dancers from his company. Hello. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm not here. Yeah, Cheryl, are you right? We're going to do um, a piece that I want Cheryl to be as if she's a dancer. So they're going to be like a trio troupe. But we can't do that until Cheryl has finished her coffee or she decides to put the coffee down so that we can actually do the warm up. So. We're just waiting on Cheryl right now. <laughs> I put it down, right? But if, I, if there's an injury cause, then I'm holding you responsible. That's why we have to warm up. I, I'm warming up with a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice and warm. Virgin on hot. <laughs> oh, I'm This way. Cheryl will be this expected way. to learn the choreography for Will I Am's video in just Cat. one day. Cat. Cat. So Kenrick pushes oh, her oh. even more to Cat. see if she can Cat. pick up a routine that's choreographed oh. to professional standard. Da, da, da. Will the foundations he taught her yesterday be enough to get her through successfully? Hey. I'm, not, whoa. I'm, not, I, I'm not. I can't do it. You can do it. Get ready. I can't. It's too many steps. And it soon becomes apparent that this is no girls allowed routine. Left, right, boom. Yeah. Step it. That's killing us every time. Step, step, cap. Boom. Go again. Keep this more in. You're here. Keep it more in. I'm being very specific now. Sorry. You're telling me? Yeah, I'm telling you. Let's do it again. Boom. Let's go again. Make that big. <laughs> Stretch them out. Stretch them out. <gasps> Let it go. Let it be more. That. You think I should just watch it once and then know it? No, I think that when you go to LA, that's what they're going to expect. What I'm doing now is, is very, very tame. If, if but you know what? Can no, I just explain? No, no. Why, what is there to explain? There is like, nothing to your explain. Your dance troupe do yeah. this for a living. They do it every single day. All right. I haven't worked out for about three months. All right. But right. There's, there's so you killed us yesterday, so I was yeah. dead this morning when I got yeah. up. Yeah. And then I busted me ass all morning. Yeah. Haven't I? Yeah, and your point is... I know, I'm tired. Okay, let, let's just think about this. You're going to LA uh, Monday. You need to have a particular level to be able to do what you're going to do in, in LA. So therefore, this is like trying to get 
I don't know, two years into one week. I don't know. I think yeah, I came together there. Something like that. Yeah. yeah, so obviously we've got to push you a little bit harder, don't you think? She, she, she wanted. I'm wondering whether she's going to be able to be used to the fact that she's really going to be pushed and she's just going to be dancing all day. She'll probably have a whinge about it like we all do. We all have a bit of a whinge at uh, the best of times when we're uh, knackered, tired, run down. Um, we speak our minds. <laughs> We've got it so easy, like with our choreographer. If we if we get tired, like we work for half an hour, and then we're like, let's have a cup of tea, and then we work for half an hour, and we're like, we're tired. At the end of a long and relentless day, can Cheryl piece together all the moves she's learnt? I know, but I'm tired. I feel like I haven't got that thing in me, but. Okay, you can have a drink now if you want, Cheryl. Okay, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I tell you what, you have to give them credit where it's due, it's hard work. I'm not joking, they work so hard. I think Cheryl feels like she's got a bit more of an idea what a dancer's life is, would actually be like and how much effort you've got to put in and how much it takes out of you. I'm dead. She may be on the way to picking up the choreography, but over the next couple of days, there are other elements of street dance that she has to master. Feminising her moves and locking and popping. It's Cheryl's last day of training in London. And as street dance involves a lot of acrobatics, Kenrick takes her for a gymnastics class. Then her nerves are put to the test as she attempts a backflip. Oh, I can't. You can do a few more on the three mats before you start. Should we do a few more first and then come back to it? Yeah. Come in. Push, push, push. Spot on. I just pushed her in the sponge, personally. <laughs> <laughs> I just push her in there. Don't worry about the flip, just push her in there. One, two, three. Wait there, one second, wait till I just centre myself. Wait. Ready? No, because you're making this feel pressured by saying, are you ready, one, two, three? I've got to count you in, so I know I'll count you did. What's that? I'll count it. No, I'll count, come on. <laughs> on the count of three, ready? Yeah. And one, two, three. You can do it with your back into it. You missed the camera so I did a real to myself from there. I'm not joking this time. Oh, oh, oh. On Cheryl's last night before leaving for LA, she heads to Stratford with bandmate Kimberly to see a choreography showcase featuring Kenrick and some of his dancers. I'm excited, yeah. actually. I'm really looking forward to it. So am I. I'm excited. And you're getting me Kenrick, who's been making his push turn. Having arrived, the girls settle down for a taste of some of London's finest street dancers. But it was the final performance that really brought the house down. 
Bit of free sailing ever, other than in my front room. How embarrassing. Babe, Hello. Hello. Oh, you enjoy the show? Enjoy it. <laughs> I can't breathe. I think now she's just going to be working her ass off, to be honest. She's, she's seen what she could get to, do you know what I mean? And I know she can do it, so it's just, I think she just needed this little push, really. So I think she's dying to get back in there now. I don't think she'll be moaning anymore. It was amazing. That popping thing at the end. Do you understand why I'm hard on you, then? Yeah. <laughs> ever, no, I do. Ever moan at me again. I can't believe how much talent I've just seen under one roof. And it's so inspiring. I feel really inspired by it all. And I just... I'm blown away. I can't believe it. And I can't believe not enough people know about it as far as I'm concerned. It should be a, a worldwide thing. It's unbelievable. Bye. Bye. <laughs> With her London training over, Cheryl heads to the street dance capital of the world, Los Angeles, to continue her training. And she's taking her mum, Joan, along for the ride. She invited herself, basically. She hinted on for about three weeks about how wonderful it's going to be for me, and this, that, and the other. And then, before I knew it, she was getting on the plane, so that's fine. But she wouldn't know what to do with that, was anyway, so that's fine. She just wants to see the world, this one. <laughs> She'd come anywhere she could. No, it'd be fine. Little does she know she's going to be running around for me. <laughs> well, nothing new. It's fine. I'm happy she get, you get rewarded, don't they? But I get the rewards. Don't stop me in the motor. I'm not. Yes, if I run. That's, that's I, OK. That's I watch her step off. We're not even at the airport yet. <laughs> Coming up... Cheryl is overwhelmed by the L.A. street dance scene. It's almost like every kid in, in L.A. can dance. And with less than a week of training, the physical demands prove too much. By the end of this, I'm actually dead. 